see y'all. We hear you're out this spring. How you feeling? Yeah, well, it sucks, but that's just how it is. Like, everyone's been telling me, like, don't worry about it. But it's, it sucks seeing everyone out there. But I've been in the weight room the entire off season, just trying to get everyone, just trying to get my stuff right. It's, it's slow, but it's just how it is. Uh, they told me I'm out for the entire spring, so probably like around May. Probably I'll be, I should be full go by like the start of summer, but who knows? Like right now we're moving pretty quick, maybe sooner than that, but I don't want to rush it and then get hurt again. So, so you're frustrated by not being out there? Uh, I was really frustrated the first like few days, but like now like the guys have been talking to me and just like don't worry about it. Like it's not nothing you can control. So like. Don't even think about it very much. Like, just control what you can control, basically. Well, um, you know, staff are talking about for uh, kind of some of the younger guys, it's, it's been a little bit of a blessing in disguise because they, they're getting a lot more reps. So from kind of an outside perspective, what have you seen from the offensive line so far this spring? There's been a lot of growth. Like, like Russell said, like, we've all came together and, like, we're all working as one, like, more than ever. Like, we have, like, this is the best group I've seen. We've We've had all, like the last three years I've been here. Uh, the new guys, like we we don't have any like very new guys, like no like freshmen come in, but like the newer guys like Evan and Richard, like they have definitely stepped up and they know what they're doing. So it's helping like even the younger guys like Fletcher and Markowitz and Scott, like it's helping them get more confidence in their ability to play. So you know, from from your perspective on, on the sideline, you mentioned this spring and you, you just talked to, to Russell and he said it's the best he's seen. It has, yeah, yeah. It's it's been really good. Just I, the widened splits and just like getting off the ball and just focusing on where our eyes need to be is just like it's helped us tremendously. Especially with the guys that have had trouble with it, like Kyler. Like he's now like he last year he he kind of like he'd be really good and really bad, and then this year he's just dead on like everything. He knows what's gonna happen. He knows where things are going. It's just like, we have confidence now, so. That experience lead to yeah, players. of course. And that's like Coach Ham said. It's, it's it's everything. Like with all these guys, we played so many games. We know like what's going to happen. There's really not much like the defense can throw at us that we haven't seen before. What's it been like working with Coach Ham? So far? It's it's really like a mix of Turner and uh, McGuire. Like you get the best of both worlds. Basically, he's a real fun guy to be around. He takes it serious when it needs to be serious. He knows what he's talking about, and we have all the confidence in him. So, well, what, how about uh, it's, you know, we were talking about experience just a little bit ago? It seems like that goes across the board for this team. It's yeah, like a lot of guys. Yeah, like that. You, you feel that too when you mm -hmm. see that, and you think that'll that'll translate. Of course, that. we're now like the most experienced team in the Sun Belt. So like, like every all the starters right now have played at least twelve games, and like those twelve games are just more than enough than what you need. So like it's like you see like everyone's making big plays like they have the confidence in the quarterback like the receiver runs the right route because he knows the quarterback's going to place it there the running back has uh, confidence in us because like they know that we're going to get the block right we have confidence in them that they're going to hit the hole it's just all across the board we know what we're doing even on defense like the guys are getting more experience they're getting more reps they know what they're doing so the team's looking really good when you look at teams that you know I thought the Sun Belt last year the Coastal Carolina they kind of have that team. Guys yeah. Like that. And do you think that's what's been missing for Texas? State? Just a lot of guys, a lot of new guys transferring in, and now everyone's starting to, to settle a little bit. Yeah, I think we we're a little on our toes last year, and now we're getting in the groove of things, and we're starting to like actually mesh together as a team. Like we were there, we had it, but we kind of like pulled apart towards like the middle of the season. Like we weren't fully in, and now I feel like we're like this is the best team I've seen like that I've ever played with. Like so. I'm really happy for this season. It's going to be great. You know, uh, you got Pro Day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Dave Dobson, he's an alignment in there. Yeah. Like, what, do you, what can you tell us about Dave? He's an interesting character. He's a, he's a good guy, man. He's he's the best. He'll, I don't know. He's just really quiet, but when you get to know him, he's really just, I don't know, he's, he's like a teddy bear. Like, you just want to go hug him because he's so – gentle but like violent at the same time he's smart he i don't know he's just he's just lamb you know there's really no way he has his own 
personality. Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you got to meet Pierre Canadian? Yeah, PK. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool too. Him and uh, him and Hergo are really good buddies. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I think they went to high school together. Is what it was. So they're really close. And then we saw I saw him on his official visit, and we got to know each other. So. There's not a, there's not a competition of quarterbacks this year. Yeah. Um, how, what is your perspective from the sideline? How's that kind of shaking out? I think everyone's just pushing each other, like. Like Ty had a really good day yes, like today, and then Brady and Lane had a really good day yesterday, and it's just the competition is just feeding into each other, and so like it's just gonna be a three-way race really for first, I think. It's like we won't know anything until fall camp, so they're looking all really good. Got any spring break plans? Uh, I'm gonna go home. It's my 21st, so when? Uh, Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm about to hang out with my family and then come back and get ready for more workouts. It was serendipitous that that coincides with spring break. The 21st. Yeah, I, it's pretty nice, but I can't get too carried away. Good for you. Yeah. Smart answer. Thank you. <laughs>